we're back in my keto uh, kitchen, keto naturopath kitchen. Uh, it's an overcast Eastern North Carolina day and I'm making beef jerky. Perfect carnivore treat, keto. I love making jerky. I haven't made it in a long time, but London broil was on sale and um, I decided to make some jerky because I like it as a little treat. But I also wanted to show you this knife that I absolutely love. Another reason why I stopped making jerky was I didn't have a knife that really cut the steak that well, but I have this knife. It's uh, Nakano. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's made in Japan. And this knife is amazing. It is so sharp and it cuts very thin slices. Carl uses this every day. He, um, He's making our cats food lately and he's cutting up a lot of meat. But look, look how thin you can get that. That's amazing. And if you don't have a sharp knife, you might have to freeze the beef a little bit, not completely frozen, just a little. But I'm telling you, this knife is amazing. It's used just about every day. Uh, it's great for cutting vegetables. Do not put this in a microwave. Do not use plastic board. This is a, um, a wooden board that we had made at our local farmer's market. So use a wooden board. This is a bamboo board, yes. That way the, the, the knife won't get dull. Do not put the knives in the dishwasher. That will also for make them get dull. Look at how look at how easy this is slicing. I just it's just amazing. I will be making beef jerky a lot more now that I have a great knife for slicing. It's just wonderful. I love it. I can't say enough about this. I will have a link below for a, a discount code. It's, this is a great holiday gift for the cook in your life. It was just yesterday we're using this and Carl's like, we need to buy another one of these. We need two of these. Now, depending on how you like your jerky, you know, this is not a bad size, but if you want to like cut it in half and um, so you have smaller pieces, that might be good too. It'll dry better. I, I also want to say that I get pitched a lot with a lot of companies asking me to test out their products and wanting to send me products to try. 98% of the time, I don't even answer them. I don't even say, yes, yeah, send me a free one. I'll try it because I know I'm not going to use it. I get a lot of keto foods, a lot of kitchen gadgets and with this, and I'm always looking for a nice sharp knife. So I'm like, okay, I'll try it. It is amazing. It is so amazing. So get the coupon code below and great gift for everyone. But what you do is and put the meat in a plastic bag and I'm just doing very simple I'm just doing salt and pepper but you can add any spices you want true carnivore just salt and pepper would be great um, if you're keto other spices I've done lime and chipotle I've done uh, some Worcestershire sauce and different spices so you can add the spices that you want and I just Close the bag, make sure that they all get covered with salt and pepper, so just move them around. So I'm just going to move this out of the way, and I'll finish cutting that later. So I have an Excalibur dehydrator, which I love. I've had an Excalibur dehydrator for about 15 years. After three moves, my original one broke, so I had to buy a new one. Now, some of the good dehydrators, Kasori is a good one, Excalibur. I chose the Excalibur because it is plastic and the Kasori is metal, so it gets hot. Now, that's another reason why I actually use parchment paper on top of the racks so my food does not touch the plastic with the heat. I don't like food and heat and plastic which is one reason why I don't do any sous vide. If you don't have a dehydrator, you can do this in your oven. 
Now my dehydrator, the highest it goes is 165, so I do mine 165 degrees for four hours, and then you check it, and it, um, if you need it dehydrated more, you can dehydrate it more, but your oven, if your oven goes to 165, do that. If not, try 170, 175, whatever, however low your oven will go, and um, test it after about four hours to see how it is. So I put that in my dehydrator for four hours, but I made some yesterday so we don't have to sit around for four hours. This is what I made yesterday. I store it in a Ziploc bag. You can store it in a, in a container. Um, it says you do not, a, a reading online, it said that de, uh, beef jerky, you don't have to refrigerate. I do refrigerate mine, just an added precaution because this was quite a bit of, of beef and I don't know when we will um, eat it all. So, so mine, I like mine still a little bendy. If you like yours um, completely dried, dry it longer. So this is just salt and pepper, and I love it with just salt and pepper. Great carnivore treat. So, mm. oh, it tastes so good. Kinds of meat. I did London broil. Top round also works. If there's any fat on the outside, remove as much fat as possible. You don't want to dehydrate something with fat. And if you do, it probably wouldn't dehydrate very well, and you would have to store it in the refrigerator. Oh, it's been so long since I've made beef jerky. This is delicious. And don't forget to check out those knives. They're amazing. Link below.